Hey, Drive Tribe, and we are here at, where are we, Jim? Ah, we are at Villa Dest, which is one of the most magical places in the world, for sure. It is, it's amazing. Let's take a look at the car. It's based on a Ferrari 512S race car that Ferrari also converted into a 612 Good morning. And then afterwards, they uh, turned it over to Mean Farina, who made this concept car body on it. Ferrari, being a frugal company, kept the pistons and connecting rods, so the car never ran. But when we bought it, um, we brought it back to full operating condition. And uh, two days ago, I drove into Maldonello and in Modena up in the mountains. I did 100 kilometers. Um, Top Gear documented that, and I think they're going to put it on the cover of Top Gear. And it was amazing. I mean, to drive this thing, it has huge torque, so it's no problem to drive it at low speeds. It's much uh, lower torque than my Ferrari P cars, the P4, the P34, and the 412P, which uh, need to be revved a bit to respond. It didn't overheat. The brakes were good. The clutch was good. The gearbox was good. It was fantastic. I mean, we really enjoyed it. We're going to do a few modifications um, from what we learned drive into Monte Carlo, uh, finish it up, and uh, send it back to New York. That's beautiful. And you were just at the ring. Yeah, How we did. did. Oh, it was amazing. We uh, finished first in class, sixth overall. Uh, the car was very good. We beat Ferrari, uh, Lamborghini, Aston Martin, uh, Nissan. Uh, the only people we didn't beat were Porsche, uh, Mercedes, and um, BMW. But we feel we're uh, quick. And uh, look, we could win the 24 hours in Nürburgring. The, the problem, of course, is when you're one car versus eight factory Porsches, it's hard. Yeah. But uh, the car is good. Excellent. And uh, the road version of it's amazing. And we have a lot of orders going into next year, especially for our three-seater. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a very interesting car to drive because the visibility is fantastic. You're in the center of the car. So whether the pit, it doesn't matter what road you're on, when you're on the track, you have great visibility. And uh, we look forward to showing you that car. And then we're doing the Baja, uh, the great. Baja boot. Uh, we'll be racing this November and delivering five customer cars this year. Uh, five boots and uh, more next year. Perfect. Well, again, thank you again for spending time with us. And we'll get this out to Drive Tribe. Uh, one more question. What do you like best about this event? Um, it, well, it's a very beautiful location, one. And two, I think the judging is very simpatico. You know, it's not quite as um, do the screw heads align on the engine, which frankly they never did. Uh, and um, I, I like it much more. And but, you know, with all my cars, I mean, what people think of them or don't think of them, I mean, it's never really concerned me. I mean, quite honestly, if you look at something like Modulo, I mean, would, uh, you know, I'm not a very religious person, but let's say there was a Judgment Day. I mean, would you want to explain how you judge Modulo? <laughs> I mean, it's like judging the Mona Lisa. Right, exactly. Nothing I mean, else. Yeah, I mean, like you, it. Yeah, I mean, you may not like it, but to judge it, I, I don't see that. <laughs> hey, thanks again. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, guys.